Hey, y'all, I kind of want to talk about the eviction moratorium ending this weekend. Um, this is, uh, the, the U.S. Census two months ago took a, you know, took a poll, asked people when the eviction moratorium ends, what their confidence was and the, their ability to pay rent. And it says here that the, no confidence, 2,916,565 people said they had no confidence that they could pay rent when the moratorium ends. Um, 5,795 1,766 people said they had slight confidence they could pay the rent when the moratorium ends. So in the same census, this was the people who were asked uh, the likelihood of them leaving their home when, uh, you know, basically when the moratorium ends. And so 1,401,801 people said it was very likely that they would leave their home when the moratorium ends. And, uh, 2,248,120 people said it was somewhat likely that they would leave their home when the moratorium ends. Now, we know that uh, Biden could extend this moratorium through executive uh, decision because he did it back in February, you know, which is um, good. But I mean, that's what Trump did. He also did that. Uh, so. So Congress couldn't even get it past uh, the House. And then before they took a six week long recess, which why they take a six week long recess is beyond me, but it's another feature of the United States, I suppose. And uh, it says the measure was rejected by Republicans, but the Democrats have the majority in the House. And so um, even if it is rejected by Republicans, they, they, they control the whole Senate, but they have power over the Senate. So it doesn't make, you know, they're, they're putting the emphasis on, or they're putting the blame on the Republicans again, which we expect that from the Republicans. But at this point, I guess we expect that from the Democrats that are ele elected too, you know. And here's the irony that a Republican is even pointing out that uh, they knew that, that in February that the moratorium would end now, you know. So why are they waiting? The, they're making it out like they've been scrambling to get it done and that they just can't because the Democrats tried, but they can't because the Republicans are stopping them, even though the Republicans are minority in, the, in Congress. So as Biden, you know, isn't using executive order to do anything about this, uh, he's, he said instead that the state and local governments uh, should use the emergency rental assistance and the American Rescue Plan funds, like the state funds. And, uh, you know, that they should use that for, um, let's say, legal aid to ensure no one seeks an eviction when they have not sought out emergency rental assistance funds. So if you're an organizer and you want to help people with rent, this might be something you could look at and see in your state if you can get a hold of this stuff. Because we're going to need it. People are going to be losing their homes. All right. See you all later. Thank you.